Okay, so you've created your first video on McCoy, maybe it's your introduction reel, and now you're thinking, what's next? Well, the opportunities are sort of endless, which is exciting, but I'm gonna give you some tips for narrowing it down. You wanna to try to have at least three videos total in your reel, and the reason for that is, it creates sort of a snacking or breadcrumb effect. When somebody finds your first reel, they're going to be able to keep swiping and you want them to have things to swipe on so that they can keep taking in and learning more about you. So you should think about what are the three to five things that I would want people to know. Now, if you're in job search mode, it might be that you wanna create videos that answer some of those most common questions that you're going to be asked on job interviews for the type of work that you're seeking. That could be a great way for you to almost create a first round interview for that recruiter or hiring manager that's going through your reel, that's snacking on your videos. But maybe you're in networking mode. Maybe you're just looking for new partnership opportunities. Well, what would you wanna partner on? Why would you wanna partner? You know, what do you bring to the table as part of the partnership? These could all be little videos that that person could snack on to say, oh, this person looks like someone I would want to partner with. Whatever your end game objective is, whoever your audience is, you should think about what would be the things that would help them get to the decision faster of wanting to have a conversation with you. And once you do that, you can start to create these videos. Now, here's the best part. You can create and keep all of these videos. So you're not going to have to re-record them. My advice is create your first three or five and then keep on creating. As you find yourself talking to people and realizing you're saying maybe the same talk track over and over again, or you're explaining yourself in a certain way over and over again, that's a reel. Get those things recorded to a point that you really like them and then you'll always have them on the ready for when you need to share them with various individuals. That is the beauty and the power of having a McCoy reel full of videos that you can take off the shelf, package up, and send to people based on who they are as an audience and what you want them to know about you. So start playing around with it, create as much content to your heart's delight, but make sure you're thinking about the audience and the first three to five things that they would need to know about you to pull the trigger and wanna have a conversation with you. If you do that, you'll do just fine.